Good morning guys. So I have been thinking of doing this video for a while. I thought I would take you along with me today and show you kind of what my typical day on a Saturday looks like and what I eat doing a lazy version of keto as a busy mom. So I hope you enjoy. So my breakfast every morning is Bulletproof Coffee and I'm going to show you how I make it. This is my new obsession. Bones Coffee Company makes the most delicious flavored coffees. Today I'm going to have Bananas Foster but they have lots of flavors. And I actually have a code below where you can save $5 off your first order. I don't get paid for it but I love it and I've been having it all the time. It makes it taste like a lot. So let's go ahead and make my coffee. So I like to burn my coffee using a pour over method and today I'm using this beautiful mug that I got. It's hand painted guys and for book lovers out there it is inspired by Nikolai from the Grishaverse by Lee Bardugo. Um, if you guys are interested in her mugs I am a rep for her she like sends me a few free things because I just love them I don't get paid for it but I do have a code where you can save 15% off your order if you want to check them out there's lots of fun bookish things but uh, today this is what I'm going to be using for my coffee while that's brewing, I'm going to get everything else ready put it in the blender this is the key to bulletproof coffee it is not gonna taste good if you just use a spoon you have to use a blender and the recipe I use is from Keto Connect. They have this really great YouTube channel all about keto life and recipes so I will link them below if you guys want to go check them out. First I got two tablespoons of butter and I know some people use the like fancy organic stuff. I just use Trader Joe's salted butter. You do want to make sure that you get salt to get enough electrolytes. We're gonna do one tablespoon of MCT oil. This is like a refined coconut oil. It's supposed to be a ketogenic metabolism booster. And you can just get this on Amazon. It lasts quite a while, so I go through maybe a bottle every couple of months. I like to add a few drops of stevia, not too much, just enough to make it a little sweet. And then just a little bit of this Himalayan pink salt, and again, from Trader Joe's. Now we do the bulk of our shopping. Meanwhile, well, coffee finished brewing, so we're just going to pour all of this into the blender. Perfect. It's like a foamy latte, guys. And that is it. It's delicious. It's like a foamy, yummy latte, and I love doing the flavored coffee. It just makes it wonderful every morning. So that will keep me full until like 11, then I'll have something for lunch. So that's my breakfast every day. Kids have yogurt, pancakes, Saturday. They're watching some cartoons, and I'm going to go do my makeup and watch some YouTube videos. So this is my usual setup in the mornings. I like to drink my coffee while the kids are hanging out with dad and I will catch up on some booktube videos. I just finished watching Murphy Napier talk about her October wrap up and then coming up we've got Pierre Ford, The Lawn Gnome, Run Right Reads, and Damien Tariquez. So if you want to go check them out I put them all in my watch later playlist and then I catch up while I'm doing my makeup. I am ready for the day. I've got my Winnie's Winsy headband. These are like my new favorite thing. I will link her below if you guys want to check her out. Yes. We're headed out for a play date and just in case I always like to bring us upside down um, one of these quest bars. I don't always eat them but they're nice to have. They're in my purse. They're keto friendly. I know I can eat them on the go. It's kind of like a good trick. I love these chocolate chip cookie dough ones. They're pretty delicious and they're like for net carbs. They're maybe not the healthiest thing to eat every day but in a pinch it's nice and as a busy mom you kind of need that. So we're going to go do a play date with the kids. I did a little bit of editing this morning and some Instagram related stuff. I did want to explain a couple of things because I know a lot of my viewers watch my book related content and may not know a lot about keto. If you're not familiar, it is a diet that is high fat, moderate protein, and very low carb. And the idea is to get your body to run on fat instead of carbs and it helps lower your blood sugar. There's a lot of like potential benefits for it. I don't know that it necessarily will work for everyone but it has been really great for me if you're interested in any resources I will link a few things down below if you guys are interested in checking it out but I've been doing it for a few months now and I am doing a lazy version so some people are really really careful with making sure their macros are specific 
being a busy mom with two little ones, I just have not had the time for that. And I'm not that worried at this point about weight loss. If I lose some weight slowly, great. But right now I just want something that's easy that I can be consistent with, feel good about and be healthy. And so I mostly just work to keep my carbs super low and mostly focus on fats and proteins, eat when I'm hungry. Like I said, it's a lazy version of keto. I don't really count much. I will sometimes count my carbs. I would say on an average day, I'm probably staying somewhere around 30 net carbs. That's probably typical for me, which is a little higher than what keto usually aims for. But like I said, it's working for me. Eventually, I may try to be more careful about it. But for now, with four-year-old and an almost two-year-old and the life that I've got, it's working, so we're going with it. It's a little after 10. I am not at all hungry yet. I'm gonna drink some water and bring a Quest bar just in case I need it, and I will update you guys a little bit later. <laughs> a good time we went to the playground for a little while but it was really surprisingly cold and windy today so that didn't last long I went and played at the library it is noon I'm starting to get a little bit hungry I haven't had anything yet I'm gonna head home put my younger one down for a nap and get something to eat so I realized since I haven't done grocery shopping yet everything that I have at home is gonna take a while to cook so I'm actually gonna head to Starbucks get some coffee and get some bacon egg white bites as a little snack to tide me over so for on the go keto mom life, I like Starbucks as an option. I've got my This Howler Needs Coffee mug, also from Creatively Crafts for Red Rising fans. But I like to get an Americano and then have them add in like a quarter to a third of steamed heavy cream on top, plus the bacon gruyere egg bites, which are pretty good in terms of macros. It's a little high in carbs, but it's really not bad. It's nine grams of carbs for both of them. They're delicious. 22 grams of fat and 19 grams of protein. So for a keto lifestyle on the go in a pinch, it's a good option. So it is three o'clock in the afternoon and I'm getting a little bit hungry. So I made myself a snack. This is a plate with some pepperoni, a few Brazil nuts and some brie, all of which is delicious. And it's only two net carbs. So I'm gonna have that, a cup of water, and that'll probably tie me over until dinner time. Hey guys, so it is almost five o'clock. I am gonna start making dinner and show you what I make. This is something that I make every week because it's quick, it's easy, and it's something that everybody in the family can eat off of, even my youngest who has a lot of food allergies. So this is a nice, quick and easy meal that will last you for a couple of days and is relatively inexpensive. So let me show you what I'm making. All right, so I am preheating my oven to 380 degrees, and then I have just some easy things here. I have two packages of chicken thighs, so that's gonna make a good lot of chicken, and then I have some frozen veggies. I've got asparagus, and I have some broccoli, all from Trader Joe's, and then for my youngest, I also have some sweet potatoes that I'm going to chop up. All of this is gonna go on baking sheets. It's going to get spices on the chicken for the adults. Everything else is just gonna get some garlic salt and olive oil. I have everything on the trays. The next thing is I've got this nice 100% Italian extra virgin olive oil from Trader Joe's. So that's gonna be generously drizzled over everything. And then this is chicken for my younger son. And so this plus all of the veggies and sweet potatoes are gonna get some of this garlic salt, as well as the asparagus. For the other chicken, I'm gonna be using a little bit of this Ra's El Hanout. It is a Moroccan spice that's really delicious and adds a lot of flavor. Then we will put it in the oven. Okay, we've got olive oil, spices on everything, and the oven is preheated. So I'm just going to pop this in. These are going to need to get flipped after about 15 minutes, but otherwise this should cook for 30 to 40 minutes altogether. I will probably let it all cook for about 30 minutes and then we'll put the broiler on for the last like 10 minutes or so just to make everything nice and crispy. So the veggies and sweet potatoes are pretty much done. I could put the broccoli in for a little bit longer. Um, the chicken I definitely want to cook a little longer and crisp up. So there you have it, the nice crispy chicken thighs. And then here are all of these beautifully roasted vegetables and some sweet potato for the kids. I'm gonna make up a plate for myself for dinner. I got some veggies and chicken thigh with skin on. I love this meal because it is super quick and easy, fairly inexpensive, and it'll last us for a couple of days. Everybody can eat off of it 
which, you know, time and expense when you're a mom with little ones is perfect, and this is a great keto-friendly meal. If my husband or my kids want to, they could add bread or rice to this, but for me, this is good. Normally, I would probably add half of a cut-up avocado, but as I said, I still need to go grocery shopping. Lots happening tonight after dinner, so I don't have that, so this is gonna work for tonight, but typically I would probably add that in. I will also probably make myself a snack later on tonight. We eat pretty early in the evening, and I don't go to bed until much later, so I'm gonna eat my dinner now, and then I will be back with you guys later this evening. So in case you're wondering, the veggies in this have about four grams of net carbs, so my current total for the day is going pretty well. That brings me up to 16 carbs. I listen to it softly while I kind of cheat. Myself for a All right, so it's a little late. I took a bit of a nap, but I'm gonna eat something before I go to bed. Uh, so I'll show you what it looks like. This is a cinnamon keto mug cake, and this is also a recipe that I found on Keto Connect. Super easy, make it in the microwave, and it's delicious, and it's a nice nighttime snack. All right, so I don't know how show you kind of what this looks like. I put a little bit of cream cheese on top, but it makes this nice kind of very cinnamony cake that is delicious and very filling. So that will be the last thing that I eat this evening. Hopefully this was helpful or interesting. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them below. Question of the day, what are some sort of life hacks that you have that help you manage your life? It's fun hanging out with you guys. Um, yeah, I'm tired, so I'm going to eat and get ready to go to bed. So have a good night. I will talk to you all later. Like, comment, subscribe, all the things. See you guys next time.